So I have a problem. My Discord stream is so boring, like you can't even stream your entire desktop with audio. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stream from your OBS to Discord. And of course, it's going to include a video and audio. Now, first of all, when you stream on Discord, you obviously want to stream on a crisp 4K 60 FPS, but Discord Nitro, you might not want to pay for it like I don't. Hey you, I'm here for your monthly payment. Leave. Okay, okay, chill, 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 okay. I'm broke. Well, you can just use Sala to pay me off for free, the sponsor of this video. Sala is a completely free app which is an official partner of Discord. All you have to do is press the start button and you can leave Sala mining on your PC while you're away. Mining will give you credit which you can then turn into rewards like Discord Nitro or even prepaid Visa cards if you like money. I don't know. And I've actually used Salad before they reached out to me for a sponsorship. So I know that sounds like a generic script, but I actually have, so like, I know that they're legit. To use Salad, all you have to do is download the app from the link in the description below and install it. After that, just create an account and you can just start mining. Hey, let me give you a tip. They're giving you two times earning bonus if you use code SALANTIC in the referrals. For more information, check their website or join their Discord server at discord.gg slash salad. Now let's get back into the video. Right, so before we start, I just want to say that this tutorial is going to be more confusing than my other tutorials. So now I actually really do mean it when I say watch the entire video before actually doing it, and then you can rewatch it if you need it whilst doing it. So I've actually seen other people's tutorials on how to do this and they all have different methods but one of the most common ways I've seen is using the virtual camera which is not good because the quality is going to be terrible and there's also not going to be any audio. The way I've seen requires an old version of OBS which we don't need here. You, this should work with any version of OBS. So let's just start off. To start, we'll need some applications. All the links will be in the description below. So first of all, of course, we'll need OBS itself. So go ahead and download that if you haven't already. It should work on Streamlabs too, but for this tutorial, I am going to be using OBS Studio because that is personally what I'm using. We need two more applications and both of these are for the audio. So for the first one, we need VB Audio Cable. So to download them, simply click on this link. It's going to be in the description below. And what you want to do is you want to press this download button right here. Just click it and it should download a zip file for you. So whilst we're waiting for to download we can go ahead and download the other uh, software we need which is voice meter so just click over here on voice meter scroll down and it's going to be right here you can download the zip file as well but i personally just find it a lot easier just to go for the exe file so i would recommend you just doing that so now i have both of them on my desktop right so now what you want to do is you want to find a zip file right click it and press extract to this will make a new folder only for the uh, what it extracted because there's going to be a good amount of stuff in here. You don't have to mess with it. All you have to do is find this VB cable setup and run it as administrator. And now once you've done that, just simply press the install driver. So for the rest of this clip, basically my mic got cut off, so I'm gonna be voiceovering this clip and re-recording the rest. Now right here as you can see it says successfully installed and it tells you to reboot your PC but since we have another software we want to install, don't reboot it yet and we'll install the other one and then we'll reboot the PC. So once you're done with this just press OK and now we want to go over to the voice meter setup and install that one. And once you installed it you can just simply restart your PC and I'll be back once my PC has been restarted. Right, I'm back, I've restarted my PC. Now, once you've done this well, all you have to do is run voice meter. So we just search uh, voice meter. And now once you're here, what you want to press is you want to press this uh, one button right here and change it to cable output. And then what you want to do is you want to enable the A over here and then disable the B. For hardware out, you want to change the A1 to whatever you're listening from. So for me right now, I'm listening through these headsets, so I'm gonna choose my headset right there. But if you're using like a speaker or an earphone, you wanna select that one instead. So basically what this does is that this will allow you to listen to the, your desktop audio because without this, you wouldn't be able to listen to it. And now on your Windows sound settings on the bottom right over here, what you want to do is you want to change the speaker to um, cable input right here. Basically, this will make your output into the cable software, which then turns it into input volume, which you can then listen to from voice meter. However, since your headset is listening uh, through voice meter, you won't be able to use your headset normally. So if your Discord or game does not have any outputted sound, try to change the output settings to cable input and it should work. Makes sense? If not, that is completely fine as long as you do what I say. Of course, feel free to ask questions in the comments, I will answer them, unless that question is already answered in the video. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your Discord. Once in your Discord, you want to go ahead and go to your settings over here. 
go to your voice and video and you want to change your output device to voice meter input do not make it cable input make it voice meter input because if you make it cable input people watching your stream if they talk they will be able to hear themselves through your stream which uh, you don't, probably don't want for their viewing experience so once you've done that uh, you want to go back to the voice meter and on virtual input over here you want to make sure that um, a is on and b is off as well right now we're at the home stretch we just need to do the obs things so go to your obs i have mine right here open it's recording but it should be completely fine once we're in the obs we want to go down to settings you want to go to audio right here under advanced there should be monitoring device you want to select that and from the drop down you want to uh, select uh, an output that does not go anywhere basically somewhere where you don't have to listen to it don't put it to your uh, headset don't put it to anywhere if you're using a pc i would recommend uh, putting on a monitor because most monitor nowadays don't come in with built-in speakers mine doesn't so i'm gonna be using that if you're using a laptop my easiest guess probably plug in a headset and just don't use it uh, like an earphone so i'm gonna uh output it to my monitor this way i won't be hearing myself nor the desktop audio twice and now what you want to do is you want to add an audio input capture for your desktop audio you won't be hearing this but your stream viewers are going to so just go ahead and press on this plus button on the scene you want to uh, stream and go to uh, audio input capture press uh, create new okay and make sure that the device is uh, selected to cable output so now just press okay now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press this uh, settings button beside the audio and go to advanced audio properties and over here uh, select the inputs that you want to capture for your stream if you want to do the audio input capture which is recording your desktop audio put it on monitor and output basically this will output the audio to your stream viewers but if you mute it like so then if you're recording or anything that won't go into the, your recording but it will go to the discord stream so next once you're on the scene you want to go ahead and right click this preview you see this big screen right here right just right click it and go to preview over here press windowed projector preview and this will open a new a new tab and basically what you want to do is you want to make this window as big as possible so you know just just double click it just full screen it and you know put it in the background of everything so if you're if you have like a second monitor you can put it on the second monitor and then put your discord on top of it for example so if i double click like right now it's actually gonna look very trippy on the recording so i'm gonna put this to my other monitor and full screen it there if you don't full screen it because it's actually very small it's going to lower your stream quality by a lot and that'll make the discord nitro subscription you got from salad for free redundant haha <laughs> uh, now once you're done that you're basically done all you have to do is uh, go into a discord call and once you're in all you have to do is press this share screen button go down to um, right here windowed projector this is the one you want to stream and I am actually going to prove that this actually works so I am going to record uh, me on a voice call with myself and I'm gonna be streaming my entire screen and still streaming the sound as well so uh, yeah here it is yeah kind of scuffed but works so I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself and um, Right over here, I am streaming my windowed project projector right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a music right, like right now. There you go, music's playing. Now I do watch stream. As you can see, you can hear it from my phone and my phone only. And the reason for that is because this is actually, um, I changed my headset output to completely zero so there's actually nothing coming from my headset it's actually all coming from here from the stream and if you can see right now as you can see i am currently streaming my full desktop so if i show my background or something like that it will be just fine so as you can see it works yeah that's the proof that it works okay so i just thought that i should mention this quickly that to reset everything basically all you have to do is close uh, your voice meter change this back to your normal headset or speaker or whatever and then go to discord go to your voice and video and on the output just go ahead and change it back to normal and it should be back to the way it was before you did this yeah so that's it for the tutorial i hope it helps if it did make sure you leave a like it really helps me out a lot and again i want to thank you the sponsor of this video salad salad is 
is an app that makes mining easy and accessible. Just leave your PC on in the background, mine and take the rewards. Use code SALANTIC in the referrals for double earnings. For more information, visit their website, link in the description. Bye!